Amen. I got it. Who found the scripture? Mark 12, 28, verse 28, starting from verse 28 to the end. Okay. Amen. All right. If you just bow your heads with me. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you today. Mark, what's the chapter and verse? 12. Mark 12, verse 28, and we're going to go all the way to the end. Father, you got it? Everyone got it? Mark 12. Okay, almost there. The little. You got it? Yes. Yes. Mark 12, verse 28. The women can help you find it if you're not able to. Right oh God, these women, your daughters, oh God, Father, as you have given me the word to give them, I pray, Lord God, that their hearts and minds, God, the soils of their spirit, God, will be open to receive it, God, because you, oh God, require great destiny and purpose for their lives, oh God. And Father, I pray that that come across today with clarity understanding, Lord God, and your divine wisdom. Father, we thank you for hope. We thank you for peace. We thank you for reconciling us back to you, oh God, through your son, Jesus. Father, we give you the glory, the honor, and the praise. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. 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 All right, so verse 28 starts off. One of the religion scholars came up, hearing the lively exchanges of questions and answers and seeing how sharp Jesus was in his answer. He put in this question, which is the most important of all the commandments? Jesus said, the first in importance is, listen Israel, the Lord your God is one. So love the Lord God with all your passion and prayer and intelligence and energy. And here is the second, Love others as well as you love yourself. There is no other commandment that ranks with these. The religion scholar said, A wonderful answer, teacher, so lucid and accurate, that God is one and there is no other, and loving him with all passion and intelligence and energy, and loving others as well as you love yourself. Why? That's better than all offerings and sacrifices put together. Hold on, that's what? That's all better than all offerings and sacrifices put together. Go ahead, remember that. When Jesus realized how insightful he was, he said, you're almost there, right on the border of God's kingdom, <laughs> that no, no one else dared ask a question. While he was teaching in the temple, Jesus asked, how is it that the religion scholars say that the Messiah is David's son? Then we, we all know that David, inspired by the Holy Spirit, said, God said to my master, sit here at my right hand until I put your enemies under your feet. David here designates the Messiah, my master. So how can the Messiah also be his son? The large cried crowd was delighted with what they heard. He continued teaching, watch out for the religion scholars. They love to walk around in academic gowns, preening in the radiance of public flattery, basking in prominent positions, sitting at the head table at every church function. And all the time they are exploiting the weak and helpless. The longer their prayers, the worse they get. But they'll pay for it in the end. Sitting across from the offering box, he was observing how the crowd, crowd tossed money in for the collection. Who was observing? Jesus. Many of the rich were making large contributions. One poor widow came up and put in two small coins, a measly two cents. Jesus called his disciples over and said, the truth is that this poor widow gave more to the collection than all the others put together. All the others gave what they'll never miss. She gave extravagantly what she couldn't afford. She gave her all. Amen. 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 That is God's word. Yes. When I look at 
look at this scripture, I realize that there's two things that happens to us when we come in contact with people that can help us, that has resources. We can either show a sense of pride or a sense of humility, right? Because when you look at it, Jesus said that this widow gave more than all who had it to give. That's like baffling to me. Yeah. Even the scripture says it was a two, it was two measly cents. And I said, God, how is it that she gave more than all of them? Because you see, we can have the businesses, right? We can have the careers. We can have everything that we think is accomplishments. But God continuously shows us in the scripture, listen, all of that, y'all care about. I don't care about. What I care about is your heart. This widow was amongst those that had everything, resources, money, other big offerings, but she was left. Now hear this. She was in the temple. You must know. Because you say you're coming from this. And if I'm not mistaken, in those days and now, the temple and the resources of the temple was made for the widows and the orphans and those that ain't have it. So how is it that she could be amongst people that had all of that to give? in the temple and be without. Somebody say something ain't adding up. Uh, something ain't adding up. I'm going to go back to what Jesus said was the greatest commandments. He said the first in importance listen Israel the Lord your God is one Somebody say one. 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 He's one. That means he operates collectively yes. as one. one. So the so you love the Lord your God with all your passion yes. and prayer and intelligence and energy. That means to do what? To serve. Come on, we talk about a widow to serve. To serve. To give your all. Yes. Right? He says. And here is the second. Love others as well as you love yourself. Above this, there is no commandment that ranks greater than that. Amen. 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 So that lets me know that there's never a time that God blesses me with resources and I need to be near you and I can't give you nothing if I know you're in need. Amen. Amen. I'm trying to help you recognize when people are really saying God and living God. Yes. 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 We get robbed a lot of time from the government. You know why? Because we don't want to help each other. Yes. We don't want to help each other. Yes. And God didn't create us like that. I need you. Yes. You need me. Yes. He created family. Yes. And although I know a lot of our families ain't, you know, the best, yes. we still need each other. Yes. Yes. Amen. Yes. So, this widow, what's amazing, find James 1.27 for me. This widow, even though she didn't have, right, but she was amongst people every time she came in the temple that had, right, she wasn't bitter. Amen. She wasn't looking at, oh, look at this one. She got a cleaning business, but I'm over here hungry, broke, busted, and disgusted. <laughs> She didn't form the widows, the widows' revenge committee. Mm -hmm. Come on, okay. She 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 didn't go in the corner and gossip. Oh, look at this one. They got everything, and we over here just busted, right? Mm -hmm. Those things. Understand what Jesus said. Yeah. Those things did not come out of her heart, yeah. and what she gave proved. Yes. Yeah. 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 Proved. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That listen. They may be blinded to what they're supposed to do, but I'm never, I'm never going to get blinded because I know the God that I serve. And even though I'm in this situation, he has never left me. He has never forsaken me. Come on. So I got to give him my all. 
Hallelujah. A lot of time when you hear this message preach, it's usually about money. But obviously, Jesus did not care about her money. My God. He didn't care about her money. He didn't care about her resources. My God, imagine the nervous system of many if Jesus is sitting there at the offering plate. I'm going to be honest. I wouldn't have went up there with my two cents. Come on. I'd be like, I'm not even going to play myself right now. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. True, true, true. But what? She didn't have no pride either. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. That part. She didn't have Jesus. no pride. Yes. Shauna, she didn't have it. Rhonda, it didn't reside in her. Yes. She understood, though I lost my husband, mm-hmm. right? The man is supposed to be the provider, yeah. right? Uh-huh. The resource of the family. She said, though I lost my husband, and I don't have anything right now, I'm not going to give up on God. Amen. 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 That's it right there. The widow who was nothing in the eyes of many, Mm -hmm. Jesus said, this woman, what she gave (laughs) was extraordinary. Yes. My Lord. My God. Hallelujah. Can you imagine not having nothing? Come on, I've been to the place where I ain't having, I didn't even have two cents. Okay, Lord. But I had to understand that didn't make me Amen. unvaluable. Amen. 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 That she has nothing. Yes. And he says she's extravagant. You got to understand the mind of our God. Yes. yes. He sees you. He knows you. He understands what you're going through, even if it's your fault. Because come on, somebody, I've been in situations, it's my fault. And God was like, look at this one, but I still love her. Look at this. Okay, let me get the Kevin Hart. The Kevin Hart and I look, somebody come look at this. (laughs) Right? But it's amazing that Jesus places extravagance on this woman. That society walk past day after day. Yes. 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 Come on. Day yes. after day. Yes. Mm. Wow. Come on. Oh my God. So that means what was in the eyes of man and looked like nothing. What was in the eyes of man that looked like nothing? No hope. Come on, somebody. You know, I know some of you are praying. Come on. I know some of you are here. And you're praying, and you're saying, I'm here. What's happening in my life? Why is it I seem like I can't get it together? But I challenge you to change that prayer and ask God, what is it you want to teach me? My God. Because because I really want to learn. I need to be the person that rises up out of this and comes back here as a reminder and says to the next woman, baby, I was here before. And if God can do it for me, he can do it for you. I I don't remember if the minister said it, but it was a time being a business owner that she was sleeping in her car. Yes. Yes. Amen. Hard times hit yeah. everybody. Yeah. Yeah. Nobody is exempt. I could leave here today and have nothing. Yeah. But I've grown. Somebody say grow. grow. I've grown to understand that all I really do need is God on my side. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. 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 I need God on my Amen. side. Somebody yeah. touch yourself and say, I need you. I need, I need God, God by my I side. Need God. God. I, need God. I want you to do something for me. Jesus. Stand up for your Those of you that can. And those of you that have faith to stand, even though you probably can't stand yeah. that long. Come on. Yeah. Close your eyes. Amen. Amen. Close your eyes. Amen. And I want you to envision yourself at the mercy seat of God. At the mercy seat of God. And ask the Lord one question, and I guarantee you, if your heart is open to hear him, he'll speak one word. 
asking God, Father, what is it you want from me right now? And I just want to give you a couple of seconds to hear God. Hear what he said to you. It's one word. It's one word. What is it you, what is it you want from me, God? What is it you need from me? Hey, hallelujah. Hallelujah. And if you have heard him, open your eyes. Hallelujah.